Well, good day, everybody. I'm Russ Reed, and I'm the Executive Director of the National Center for the Biotechnology Workforce, located here at Foresight Technical Community College in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And I'm speaking to you today from the lovely Innovation Quarter, which is our research park here in Winston-Salem. It's also our downtown campus, Foresight Technical Community College. And with me today is Sean Killebrew. Now, this is a very interesting day for us at SciTech. Because Sean, you have an announcement for us. I do indeed. It's the it's the end of an era for me here at Forsyth Tech. I've actually accepted a new position, and will be leaving the Forsyth Tech family to join a new work family at Caffey Distributing. Well, Sean, tell us a little bit about uh, what you'll be doing. So I'm going to be the training manager for uh, Caffey and Carolina Premium down in Charlotte, their sister companies. And they distri distribute beverages and various things like that. But mostly I'll be responsible for onboarding all of the new employees, uh, handling any sort of last second safety training or updated safety training, anything that happens, I'll be responsible for. Any, anything regarding OSHA, anything regarding like warehouse uh, operations. And then even if we uh, bring new software into the company, I'll be responsible for training everybody uh, all the way up to the tip top and uh, to the bottom rung on how to use that software to maximize the company's goals. Well, Sean, on behalf of Foresight Tech, I think um, the Foresight, Foresight Tech family is so very pleased for you to be taking on this great new responsibility, this new role. And I'd just like to uh, summarize for people. Um, I think we were talking before we got up, we went on air today to uh, to mention that I think Together, we've done over a hundred SciTechs, and uh, yeah, and 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 I, I just wanted you to elaborate a little bit more on um, your sense about SciTech, and also I would like to dig a little bit, a little bit deeper on your preparation. So SciTech has been one of the highlights of working here at for Scythe Tech. It's been a fantastic way to get to know industry leaders all around the country, but especially ones local here to Winston-Salem. Uh, a lot of growth in the biotech industry here um, with W Firm and Cook Medical and uh, all of our partners that we've worked with with SciTech uh, to really grow this community and grow the, the awareness of how biotech uh, will impact everyday lives uh, more and more as the future continues. So that's it's just been extremely fascinating to hear all the different perspectives and points of view from industry leaders and partners in the biotech industry. And being here at Forsyth Tech in my role, I have been in large part a trainer already, um, helping people understand how to use um, our learning management systems or learning how to use Teams or Zoom to better engage students, uh, which has given me some very unique uh, ways of thinking about the information to reach different types of learners. And I think that's imperative going into an industry, especially like a warehouse type of industry, where you're going to have such a diverse level of um, people who receive information and, and uh, process information differently. And so working here at Forsyth Tech with so many fascinating people and uh, non-traditional learners really, I think, gives me the leg up. Um, to do to be very successful within the new organization that I'll be joining. I, I find it a great benefit that I have been a part of the CTLE, the Center for Teaching and Learning Excellence here, formerly the Center for Transformative Learning. And the entire goal of this department at Forsyth Tech has been to reach every learner where they are and show them the, the best ways, the best practices on how to be most successful in their endeavors here at Forsyth Tech and when they even get into industry. And so I feel like I have been uniquely blessed to be a part of this department and the Forsyth Tech family. And it put me in the perfect position to be able to grow in the indus industrial world. And so I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Well, Sean, uh, th this is, um, as you know, it's bittersweet for me because I've known you since you were a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, as you know, uh, your son and my son were friends. So, th so this one uh, gets right to the heart, you know. But uh, you know, I I want to um, uh, I want you to expand a little bit, uh, if you can, for our audience. Um, 
uh, a little bit about your background and how this is how your background there are elements in your background i'm thinking of your military training your education at foresight tech and now your experience at foresight tech how has this all come together for you to be able to go into this new exciting world you're going to have well being in the military straight out of high school and then serving in two deployments um, one of the one of the things that you're constantly doing is training learning new ways and best ways to perform certain functions and activities and to get the job done and so the military i think does a very good job of efficiently training people and giving it gave me the understanding of of what process needs to happen to get the information across and then as i came out of the military i i, I finished my education here at forsyth tech in broadcasting and then I got a, I immediately rolled it into a part-time job within the, the CTL department at Forsyth Tech. And so taking all of those things together, I think has just been, I, whether I knew it or not at the time, I was on this path of helping people learn information, whether that's new information, old information, or somewhere in between. Everything that I've been a part of uh military the broadcasting program here and then as as being a part of this department at forsyth tech have been just steps forward on this path to to going into this industry and again i think it uniquely qualified me to to take this on uh we when i had the interview with kathy and their um their top executives there um that was that was something that they really harped on was the military training aspect because safety is such an important thing in a warehouse setting especially with forklifts and moving 100 pound boxes this way that way and so having that that mindfulness of safety coming from a military setting um and then going into the the non-traditional training leg of forsyth tech i think those really combined into the perfect storm of success going forward. Well, Sean, I don't think anybody could disagree with that testimonial, and uh, I think it's just wonderful um, and, and good for that company because uh, they're getting a good person, a great person. Uh, but as you know, SciTech continues, and so uh, we think we have a high quality program here. Um, and so we've got to continue this program. So how are we going to do that? Succession is so important. So succession is extremely important in any organization. And I think going back to my military days, that's one of the things that was really ingrained because as a lower enlisted, you're constantly encouraged to learn your uh, superior's job and your superior is constantly encouraged to train the subordinate on their job because people are constantly moving and shifting. Uh, organizations are in uh, flux all the time. And so in order to minimize those gaps, we want to train the next person who's going to take our position. And so I am very thankful to be um, handing the SciTech reins off to another broadcasting graduate for SciTech. Uh, an immensely talented video editor, great way of thinking about things, uh, Mr. Trevor Tufano. So Trevor, we know you're there. Come on on to SciTech today. There we go. Hey. Hey, Tr hey Trevor, welcome to SciTech. And Trevor, you're no stranger to SciTech. We know you in the, in the poor SciTech family. Uh, give us a little bit of, about your background. Yep, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Trevor Tufano and I work as a ed tech specialist for the CTLE. And um, as Sean mentioned, um, I am a fellow uh, graduate of the Broadcasting and Production Technology Program at Forsyth Tech. Um, I attended the program from 2016 and I graduated in 2018. And I started working um, part-time at Forsyth Tech in late 2019 as a um, new media design specialist. And as Russ mentioned, um, I did have a little bit of background working um, in SciTech on a couple of occasions, or on a couple of occasions. And um, once I went, and I went uh, full-time 
with the college. Well, I worked part-time from 2019 to late 2021. And um, then I took on a full-time position in the CTLE um, as a ed tech specialist. And I've been working here since, and I really enjoy it. Um, like, like Sean mentioned, I have a background in uh, video production. And um, I've worked on a lot of different projects uh, for the college um, ever since I started working here. So um, I'm really excited to be able to uh, take the reins of SciTech and uh, continue on the legacy that um, Sean has uh, created for it. Well, Trevor and Sean, we're, uh, this is the passing of the torch and um, succession planning, as I mentioned, is so important. So Trevor, welcome aboard. And Sean, best of luck going forward. And remember, Sean, what we love at Foresight Tech is we love to get advice from industry. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely. what makes our program stronger. And so uh, I, I think there's definitely Foresight Tech in your future of giving us advice uh, from what it looks like from industry's perspective. So uh, don't be a stranger. That's actually one of the things I'm really excited about, taking the relationships that I've built here at Forsyth Tech uh, and maybe finding new partnerships in industry going forward. Uh, and I would be absolutely honored to be on any sort of advisory board or anything like that uh, with the industry partners uh, to be able to help Forsyth Tech grow even further and to meet even more grand community goals and standards that we're trying to achieve. So. Well, Sean, I think um, I, I just I know on behalf of uh, uh, CTLE, I want to thank Deborah Brown. I want to thank uh, CTLE for uh, the partnership that we've had all all these many years. And uh, for somebody who's done over 100 SciTech interviews uh, with yours truly, I'm very, very appreciative of what you've done. And I'm very excited to welcome in Trevor coming in as another graduate of Foresight Tech uh, to help us um produce SciTech. So I want to thank all three of you for being with us today. And Sean, we wish you the best of luck, but you know where your roots are. Absolutely. Thank you, Russ, for everything, um, all of the guidance and the leadership, and really just the friendship that you've provided over these years here at Forsyth Tech. It's it's really given me and really made me feel a, a part of this family and 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 the greater biotech family as well. You've been uh, so generous uh, with your time with me and with your with the knowledge that you've gained. So I really appreciate that. And I have the utmost confidence that Trevor is going to take the SciTech reins and there's he's going to it's going to grow it into something visually stunning. Uh, and I'm excited to see how it goes from here. Very exciting. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.